brickmaking commenced here at Blockley in 1920. Blockley is located within the Worcestershire Basin of the Gloucestershire Cotswolds of southern England. The underlying Lower Jurassic Charmouth mudstone is ideal for brickmaking. It can be traced to Somerset and Dorset in the southwest and northwards through Warwickshire, Nottinghamshire, Lincolnshire up to Robin Hood's Bay in Yorkshire. Historically, these Lias group mudstones have been used for brickmaking and earthenware manufacture since the Roman times. Currently, clay extraction is taking place on the southwest side of the quarry. As we pan around to the west, we see a hummocky landscape left behind from earlier workings. The tree-lined northern face of the quarry becomes visible in the distance. Clay indicates a quiet depositional environment. Despite this, the sea water and sediment were full of oxygen, as is evident by the enormous volume of microfossils such as foraminifera and ostracods found within the mudstone. Larger fossils are plentiful. There are lots of ammonites. The Jurassic system is zoned by ammonites. These evolved rapidly, enabling certain species to be assigned to specific levels of strata of a particular age. This 20 metres of Charmouth mudstone was deposited within the Trago Phylloceros ibex zone of the lower Pliensbachian stage of the Jurassic. The Jurassic contains 50 ammonite zones. These are further divided into subzones. There are three subzones within the ibex zone. The Blockley clay pit is in the uppermost Luridum subzone of the ibex zone. One ammonite zone equals on average one million years. Therefore, in this quarry, we are looking at 250 to 330,000 years of accumulated sediment. There are two levels where the fossils are concentrated. These are known as shell beds and mark significant environmental changes within the basin. Compared to the rest of the clay, these are more gritty and seem to represent short periods of time where shallowing has occurred. BGS have correlated the lower event with a widespread event called the 85 marker. Bottom dwellers and burrowers such as mollusks, bivalves and gastropods can be found. Swimming creatures such as ammonites and belemnites are common. Fish and shark teeth as well as a partial plesiosaur skeleton have been found. Damaged or reject bricks can be seen around the workings. These are used as fill and are often used along trackways to improve access for plant. The north side of the brick pit is now abandoned. The quarry consists of a 2 metre vertical upper face and a 4 metre lower sloping face. Viewed from the west, the slope looks to be in situ mudstone. Above it is a half metre noticeable red-brown laterally extensive zone resulting from a concentration of iron sediment. 
Above this we find inclusion of tiles and glass and probably consists mostly of fill from the quarry workings. From the east side we see the red-brown layer becomes less pronounced and splits into three low tipping surfaces, suggesting these could have been working surfaces within the quarry. The red-brown coloration is a consequence of iron oxidation. Blockley Brick Pit is not only a good place to find Jurassic fossils, but is an important site for the study of the evolution of ammonite.